Over 100 people paint this scene in watercolour. How different can they be? And which ones do you like and why? Hello, I'm Tim Wilmot, a watercolour painter and tutor, and I organise regular online watercolour workshops. This is a compilation of attendee paintings from my January 2023 workshop, where we painted this country lane in the Cotswold area of the UK, a winter country lane. You can see here a little bit of the recording that uh, I have of the event. It's run by Crowdcast. Um, that's the event platform I use. I don't use Zoom. This is a, in my opinion, this is a better system than Zoom. It allows me to interact more with my attendees. Uh, there's a recording as well. There's a high resolution display of what I'm doing. There's a chat feature. We can download the source photo there as well, sharing um, the, the image, the source image with the attendees. And also attendees get to have a little critique, which is what this video is all about. I'm just going to go through very shortly, um, starting with, well, I'll run through the the source photo again, just in a little bit more detail. And then my demo painting, give a critique of myself before I go through the attendees. And one by one, we'll go through them. Um, I'll just give a little sort of one minute or two minute uh, comment about what I think about their their painting. And it will be my own personal opinion. And also the, the images of attendees paintings, they are of course taken by themselves on an, a wide range of different devices. So there'll be different lighting situations and resolutions and so on. So just um, bear that in mind uh, of the, the different sort of lighting and color conditions. This then was the source photo we used, a little lane close to where I live in the, well, I live just on the edge of the sort of Cotswold area of the UK, and it's a winter's scene. No, sn no snow on this one, sorry, uh, but a grayish sky. The, the sun has come out, uh, and it's it's sort of got that low level winter sun angle, uh, long shadows going across the road, soft shadows as well. A good practice of different types of edges in watercolour. A good practice of mixing greens as well for the the little bits of foliage in the background, the hedgerows, the grass verges left and right of the road, and also some puddles for a few reflections. I also introduced a figure into the scene. I think uh, it just needed something down there on that right-hand side um, just to fill in that, that space and give a little bit of an extra interest to the reflections in those puddles. And then also trying to create that sort of feeling of that, that dirt on the road there as well. Um, tire tracks, debris left and right, the distant farmyard, that winter tree there as well and the winter trees in the top left corner with the ivy growing up the, the tree trunks. Anyway, that's a source photo. Here is my demo painting that I did during the event. And I'm fairly pleased with it. I think I got the composition about right with the placement of the figure and the, the, um, the sort of values right as well, that distant farmyard, the the winter tree there, just trying to have not too much detail, but enough just to say that that's a tree and there's some distant farm buildings there and a hedgerow in front of that. And then the feeling of light coming up from the, lot, the top left-hand corner and that sort of pattern of shadows going across the, the row, which I thought was quite, that attracted me to the scene, that kind of radiating pattern that we've got going across that grass verge over the road and then up the right hand side and then the puddles a little bit of a, a few puddles on the left hand side there reflecting that tree introducing the figure uh, this particular lane is very popular with dog walkers um, cyclists walkers in general horse riders so i had to i had to include a dog and then that little bit of a so a made up figure and the reflection of that figure and the continuation of those puddles down the right hand side, bit of debris across the road, and edges, variation of edges, hard edges. Um, where's a hard edge? Well, hard edge at the top of the hedge row there. Maybe a bit of a hard edge there. And then 
more soft edges, soft edges coming across the road, dry brush marks, bit of wetting wet, different techniques we covered um, as we went through the, the demo on creating different edges in watercolour. So that's mine then. Let's go through the attendees. Now, not everyone sent in their painting, which um, you know, don't have to uh, send in your painting. So these, uh, this is what I've had so far. And what I'm looking for as I'm going through is composition, first of all. Uh, secondly, have we got the feeling of a winter's day? Does it look sort of fairly chilly yet bright uh, with that sunlight, the low sunlight coming in? The greens, convincing greens, the grass, the hedge, the ivy uh, growing in the, those bushes on the left-hand side, a figure, and then these reflections, the puddles left and right of the road. So first up is Anna. And it looks really nice. Uh, yeah, I think you've got composition right. Maybe the figure, the the top of the body looks a little bit large for the legs, but on the whole, it's, it's the, just the right size um, of figure there. Nice little doggy. Shadows are very good coming across the road. Mixture of edges as well. You've got that pattern of shadows as well. Very good wintry trees also. Nice sky. Definitely the feeling of winter. And good reflections. Well done. Barb. Yeah, I like the, the darkness of this. That figure is excellent. Nice sense of movement coming towards us. You've got uh, a nice bit of light actually on that left-hand side. That's very good. Perhaps a little bit overworking of some of the shadows there. But you've got that, you've got a nice line of those shadows, getting the curvature of that left-hand side, going across the road, then up the right-hand side as well. Yeah, a nice, nice bit of dry brush marks on the road as well to give you that sort of muddy, muddy type feel. Um, Barry. Again, good composition. Um, good figure as well. Um, that, that figure... Looks like it could be riding a horse as well. Actually, quite nice. That that I think what gives it away is that little bit of highlight on the left hand side. Um, yeah, nice figure. Maybe the greens are a little bit weak, but I do like the transparency of all these greens on the left hand side. That's really nice. The brush marks that you've got there, the layering on top of um, each other, those different shades of green, excellent. Sh shadow could be a little bit darker. Yeah, nice one. Well done. Uh, that's Barry. Let's go on to Carolyn. Oh, let me just zoom in here. Yeah, some some of these images might be a little bit small, so I need to zoom in. And I might lose a little bit of the resolution. It might go a tiny bit sort of fuzzy or out of focus, but we can see what's going on. Well done, Carolyn. Nice figure. Good composition. Uh, with the road, maybe you weren't snow, but... It does sort of curve around to the left there rather than the right, but it, it's all right. A bit of overworking of the road. I think just a touch overworked. Uh, try and keep things fresh. I would say maybe a bigger brush. All right. Um, nice shadow pattern, though. Nice, nice greens. Lovely, vibrant green on the left and the right. Nice winter tree also. Well done, Caroline. And Ching. Nice composition. I like your greens on this, Ching. They're really nice. Um, good, good grass verge, left and right. Good shadow pattern. Certainly got the feeling of winter here. The wintry tree, the foliage on the left hand side there. Uh, maybe with the brushwork down here, it looks a little bit confused with what this this object is it looks like it's a sort of raised bit of mud or something like that which i guess you, i guess you might might have down there uh, excellent figure and the dog there maybe the dog can smell something or see something over on the on the left hand side 
Yeah, well done. Uh, well done, Ching. Thank you. And Christy. Yeah, I love all this, this brightness in the distance there, that light value and the trans, let's zoom in here. The transition from that light, look how light that is against that. There's a nice edge there, that darkness, hard edge, then the light of the background farm, uh, farm buildings. Lovely. Good figure. Uh, you've spent some time on your, your gate there, a bit of negative painting around, very patient, a bit more patient than me. Nice greens as well, quite bright. Yeah, maybe more of a feeling of a, as more of a spring day, I reckon, with this one, but a lovely scene. Well done. Uh, Christine, very loose with the brush marks. Yeah, lo lovely transparency, just what watercolour needs. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Uh, with the figure, I think you need to connect things a little bit more. So, for example, connecting to the ground, just that little bit. All right, we've got a bit of a, a gap here. And then around the figure's head and shoulders, a bit too much that light stuff. Try and, I would say, try and, you know, bring the, the edge of the grass version in the background up to the figure and then on the other side, take it away, you know, from the figure over there and then just cover up, you know, all of that. So there'd be less of the white stuff around it. Lovely greens though. As I say, great brush marks, nice transparency. Yeah, I, I like watercolors like this and that cloud as well. Some people might disapprove of the cauliflowers and um, the, the uh, that, that sort of bleeding that's going on there, but I, I like it. Very nice. Um, Dave, Dave Joe, might be, might be a couple of days or David. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, very bright. Um, again, maybe not necessarily the feeling of a winter day, more, more sort of spring. I love the bit of blue that you've You've sneaked in on that left-hand side. They're not sure if I did. I do that on mine. Can't remember. Anyway, I like it. Uh, it's, it's good to vary up the. You know, when you get a big area of green like that, you've got to try and vary the, the shading of the green and uh, maybe introduce some warms and cools in there as well, which particularly you might find in winter. Nice tree there as well. Figure might be just a little bit too small. All right, and also the. We can't see too well the puddle. I think that, that puddle's all right. These puddles are okay, but maybe that one could be a little bit lighter, Dave. All right, and the bit, maybe a bit lighter on that left-hand side. Uh, yeah, well done with the birds as well. Maybe a few pheasants or something like that coming across there. Excellent, well done. And uh, so we had, yeah, that was Dave J. So this is another Dave. Yeah, beautiful. I'm not sure this is a little bit of gouache here, but this is really nice. Very atmospheric, doesn't need the figure, great composition. The way that tree is leaning more and it's almost, you know, framing that, that area of sky there. Beautiful painting. I like also these lighter, it looks like a little bit of gouache. Um, I love these lighter bits of green. Just the, the brush marks, it's fresh. The direction of them, we're getting the contour of that, um, that uh, far verge there, almost like a stained glass window where you've got that light green and a dark and a brown. And then these, these gray marks, I, I like those as well. They're sort of streaky gray marks, beautiful. What a fantastic painting. And that sky, very moody. The way that we got the lightness here and the darkness over there. Yep, well done, Dave. Thank you. And Ed. Oh, we've got a couple of figures on this one. You've made the road a little bit wider. I'd be careful with the road being slap bang in the middle. Um, it's always nice with a road like this to have it just slightly to the left or slightly to the right. The shadows could do with a little bit more of a softer edge to them, I reckon. But you've got a nice, you've got that nice pattern there 
head of shadows going across that direction, that direction there. Got those just right. And great puddles as well with those reflections. Lovely sky, lovely moody sky. Very good. Well done, Ed. Eileen. Get the right kind of zoom level. There we go. All right. Good composition. Maybe we're missing that little bit of lightness there, Eileen. It would be nice just to have that area um, where I'm... Let me, let me just zoom in. That area there being a little bit lighter, so we've got the feeling of light coming through. Great figure, though. Excellent on that. Nice shadow pattern. Just be careful of a little bit of overwork on the road, but nice shadow pattern. And nice greens as well. I like the, the, the darker green there, light green, and then a, more of a, a cooler, darker green as well. Excellent. Well done, Eileen. And next is Fiona. Oh, you've got the figure uh, a little bit lower down. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, uh, and it and, um, looks like, a, is it a spaniel or something like that? Or a terrier? Uh, a lovely dog and, and figure as well. Just the right size. Uh, and that background, you kept it simple, just the right value, pushes it back. Uh, very, very good. I would say with the trees, just you don't need to emphasize them. It looks like you've gone over a couple of times with the bar. I wouldn't bother with that. Um, the, the darker mark um, is just the right value, I reckon, for that these, these branches where you've got the, the tree against that lighter background. That, that value is just right. So ease off on some of that painting over twice, but nice, oops, nice uh, bushes on the left-hand side. Perhaps we haven't got the feeling of that curvature of the bank on the left-hand side. We've got it on the right, that one there. That's okay. And perhaps also there could be a few more shadows coming across the road. But what, I can see what you've done. You've, you've made the horizon sort of about there. So you're making more of a play on the sky, which is another option, you know, with a scene like this. You could um, make the sky more of the, the focal point. And that sky is fantastic. Definitely looks like winter. You zoom in. Yeah, definitely looks like winter. Well done. And Gerardo. Gerardo. Yeah, nice composition. Good sky. Uh, with that sky, I would say we've got a bit of a sort of straightest line happening there. So perhaps with the sky, with this sky um, introduce a few little um, curves or bumps in it so it's not too not too perfect a line. Uh, nice and bright. Uh, try and get also hard edges on your shadows as well. These are a little bit too hard and too straight as well. These shadows are going across grass and clumps of grass and bumps and so on. Uh, so just try and, and think about that. Great figure though. Lovely puddles. I like that warm, that warm colour for the road. Excellent. And Helen. Ah, we've got a a figure here um, looking around at us. The fence beyond the figure, Helen, there's just a bit too much detail there. I wouldn't have bothered with that dark line. It sort of it sort of brings it a bit closer to us in a way. So I wouldn't bother with that, um, doing something like that. But let me just zoom back out again. Yeah, good range of greens. You've you've certainly uh got them all in here cool greens warm greens that hedge on the right hand side very very good i would try and also get some darker shadows going across the road which is going to make some of the scene a lot lighter getting those getting those um darker shadows all right but good job on that figure very very good right uh next up is janet Yeah, nice, like it. Um, <laughs> good, good job on the sign. Um, no, I'm not sure. Maybe you picked up something on the source photo about crossing. Great transparency. Look at this. That tree there. It's got all sorts of colours in it. P 
purples, blues on the left-hand side, bit of green. Love, I love that transparency. I mean, again, this is just what watercolour does. Look at this granulation appearing here. The different, all the different edges we've got. Doesn't a scene like this where you've done so well on those shadows doesn't need a doesn't need a figure. Perhaps with those shadows, they could um, just extend over. Trying to get the feeling of that winter light and these long shadows. Perhaps some of the shadows could be just a little bit longer coming over the road here, Janet, um, and then you know coming going over the um, going over the grass verge on that right hand side. A lovely scene. Well done. Nice transparency. Excellent. And Joe. Yeah, good composition. You've, you've changed that left-hand side. You've got more of the, the light. It's interesting. You've got more of the light hitting this area here, almost as if maybe the sun is, is um, a bit higher in the sky. So perhaps not necessarily a winter scene, um, but lovely light there on that left-hand side. Now, with the road, I would try and connect these shapes a little, a little bit more and try and get the feeling of those puddles also. Good job on the figure. Uh, maybe the hat might be just a little bit too big, but good job on the figure. And a bit of movement with that dog. Looks like the dog's bouncing around. Really happy dog. Yeah, and good uh, good farm buildings in the background. Excellent. Well done, Joe. Nice um, reinterpretation of the scene. That, that's also quite nice to quite nice to see, quite nice to have a go at on these these workshops is to reinterpret the scene. You don't need to necessarily follow me. I do have people um, also in different mediums as well. Some doing line of wash. We've we've seen um, a gouache or two already. So you don't need to follow me in my particular style on these. Right, after Joe, we've got Kazim. Yeah, nice composition. I think this is pretty close to maybe what I did. Um, I love those those greens on the left-hand side, the edges you got. Maybe you've done a little bit of, maybe you've done a little bit of lifting out, Kazim. And I think it works so well on that left-hand side. Those shadows are excellent. Not too much detail in that in that top quadrant there with the foliage. Just the right job with the just the right values for the background. Avoid I would avoid outlining those edges because it doesn't need it. Um, maybe a little bit of the darkness with the tree certainly, but we don't need those dark lines there. Excellent figure and dog. Great puddles. Well done. And Lauren. Yes, this is a slightly different style again. I, at first glance, I might think is it overworked, but no, I think I think it's all right. Good job with the two figures. Uh, I presume just walking away from us, the dog. I like the the vibrancy and the movement that we've got over there on the left hand side. We've got some. Cool blues, light greens, these branches going all over the place. Yeah, it's got some atmosphere. Nice range of edges. You've got that curvature of the of the um, verge as well. Yeah, very, very good. Well done. And Lillian. It's nice and soft. There's, I mean, there's no, there's, there's hardly, are there any hard edges in this one? No, I, I like those soft edges. Great. And you've certainly got the feeling of winter. That sky is fantastic. Uh, but I think, yeah, I think what makes this are those soft edges, those subtle soft edges. You've got the light of the puddle. Very, very nice. Well done, Lillian. Nice one. Uh, Linda. Oh, very bright. I like it. Love those greens. Uh, with the figure... I think that, is that white paint there? Um, it doesn't need that little bit of white stuff there, Linda. I wouldn't bother with that. I guess you could go over that with a tiny bit of black paint just to try and remove that white stuff, but it's a bit too much of it. But the figure's just right in the right position, right size as well. Good job on the background with the building. Could be a little bit lighter here, but it's very bright. Nice, I, I like it. 
good shadow shapes and colors perhaps the on the right hand side just a few too many hard edges but it's it, all the brush marks they sort of work work together they're all complementary to each other excellent well done and uh, lynn nice range of values beautiful light coming into the scene i like this puddle my eyes suddenly went to that puddle there for some reason lovely puddle uh catch and reflection of that tree there um slight overworking of that tree i think too many twigs and branches um the trick i well you've got it you've got it there on that left hand side you know where you're just putting in a lighter value to suggest that sort of congestion of, of little twigs and branches great figure i like that bit of lifting out just at the base of the figure it gives it gives a feeling of movement that figure good dog as well yeah excellent well done lynn uh, another lynn lynn with an e uh yes very nice good shadow pattern I think with that tree, maybe that left-hand side could connect more with the foliage, um, just to sort of as one trans as as one transfers into the other, just to try and connect them a little bit more. Great background though, beautiful value, just the right sort of light shape pushes it back. And that green has sort of bled into the the uh, the top. Um, buildings as well as the farmyard good figure good pattern of shadows well done uh mike oh mike you've got your so you've got your figure on the left hand side yep nothing wrong with that excellent perhaps with that hedge on the background just a little bit too much detail i'd be i'd be tempted to go in with a bit of a a small soft synthetic brush and just try and soften up some of these edges a little bit so it pushes it back um, but everything else is fantastic the the attention to detail on the right hand side um, the variation of greens you've got on the left hand side there's, there's warms and the cool that the coolness on the left hand side then we've got some warms and we've got a bit more cooler and a bit warmer very very nice good puddles as well Excellent. Thanks, Mike. And Nidia. Yeah, again, slightly different sort of style um, compared to the others we've seen. Good softness in the bushes on the left-hand side and the hedge on the right-hand side. Perhaps the shadows could be a little bit darker coming across the road. We can't see too many of those so shadows could be just a little bit darker great figure just be careful with the head being a, a tiny bit too big and the doggy maybe, maybe they just need a little bit of a shadow perhaps if there was a shadow coming across the grass verge going across the road connecting with the figure going over the right hand side up the uh, bank and then up the hedge so that would look just a little bit better to to connect those things excellent well on um, Pablo, oh, I like it. Now we don't have we don't have the lightness in this, but I do like the 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 energy in this one. Um, the what's striking are those those scrape marks across the road, and a little bit of the opaqueness of the white there, the splattering coming down from the tree. Maybe you've painted on a little bit of a slope, and we've got a, a tiny bit of. Um, of this uh, uh, pattern here, the of the wetter, um, of the water going, which was probably placed on a, a thicker, darker background. So we've got those kind of veins coming down, very indicative of, of foliage on that left hand side. Yeah, excellent. Perhaps it could be just a little bit um, of a, a lighter value in there. Uh, I love the animal. Um, looks like a wild boar that. That's definitely a wild boar. Beautiful wild boar. I think it's so good. It just needs to be a little bit higher up on that on the the composition. What well on Pablo? Like the style. And Pam. Well, let me just zoom in a bit on this one. 
how far can I go? You can see as I zoom in, I do lose a little bit of the resolution. Um, perhaps not a wintry scene, but you've got lovely brush marks here. Well done. There could be perhaps a little bit more that the bushes in the top left corner could be a little bit more solid, left less light coming through them. And also with the shadow shapes, try and get the edges perhaps a little bit straighter, but still thinking about a softer edge, all right, but a little bit straighter as they're, as they're coming across the road. Well done on the figure, but a, a nice bright scene. Again, that could be a more of a spring type scene, I think. And a lovely shape of that branch coming across the tree. What well on Pam. Uh, Philippe. Nice and colourful. I like that gold streak going up the road. Beautiful. It definitely is a bit of a contrast with the coolness elsewhere in the picture. The figures could be a little bit darker. Perhaps their face is a little bit less red or less pink. Figures a little bit darker, but they're good figures. They're just the right uh, proportion there. And also shadows. Um, think about those shadows trying to be a little bit darker coming across the road. And think about that pattern as well. All right, the, getting the angles right like that with the, with the perspective. Uh, well done, Philippe. Thank you. Well done. Ravi, nice and bright. Like that curve in the road. Very nice. Nice sweeping curve there. Good job on the greens. Good shadows as well. Try and avoid a little bit of that lightness around that figure, but good figure there, Ravi, and dog as well. Excellent, well done. Uh, right, next we've got Ricardo. Anna, you've moved the horizon a little bit higher up, which is okay. You've made more of a feature of the road, particularly down here in the foreground. Love the colours that you've got into that road. Um, maybe these puddles look a little, they look a little bit icy to me. Um, so definitely got the feeling of winter, a bit of sort of that, that coolish blue and the cool blue that you used on the right hand side there as well. And it looks, looks a little bit icy. There's a bit of icy colouring on top there. Uh, ease off on the use of just a little bit too much of the white paint on the right hand side, which, which might be a little too weak, perhaps too much water mixed with that white paint there. So um, just, just be careful with that. But nice shadow pan, could be a little bit darker. Great figure as well. Well done. And Roger. Yeah, another different style. I, I love the attention to detail. Your, your trees are fantastic. Uh, well, let's start with that background tree. Beautiful. The, the attention to detail of all of those branches and going up to the edge of the canopy, but particularly over here on this left-hand side, fantastic. I think maybe that tree, that trunk there could connect more um, with the shadow on, with the bushes on the left-hand side. So continue that, that trunk, that tree trunk over to the left. Great figure. Perhaps the shadows could be a bit darker as well, but such a feeling and such a sensation of light. And I, li I like the style as well. Um, superb work on those branches. Well done, Roger. And next one, Sally. You know, my eyes go to that puddle there where we've got the lightness, we've got the dark uh, reflected branches, hard edges around those branches as well. Lovely pattern of shadows coming out from those. Great colour. Nothing overworked. Nice and fresh. Soft edges as well. With the figure, maybe a little bit too light. Is that a bit of the old white pink coming through? Um, perhaps just a little bit too light there, Sally. Um, the top of the head and that there. I think with that, that figure, the head would be, looking at the size of the body, and there's the shoulders, if you like. Uh, we don't need all. We don't need all of this, okay? Um, but other than that, brilliant sense of movement. 
as I say, the the particularly on the road, those shadows are fantastic. The the shape of them, the edge, the soft edges, hard edges, beautiful. Well done. And Sandy, let's just zoom in a bit more. Excellent. So many colours in this. I, lo I love that background. Well, that, well, let's just start with the sky. Um, in the sky, we've got blues, we've got warms, we've got light. And then that background, the background buildings, I like that style. It's a shame um, with the resolution, I can't, can't see too much. But let me just zoom back out a bit. Yeah, that's okay. I like it. Uh, pattern of shadows on the left. Perhaps the, some of the shadows could have a little bit of a softer edge to it, but nice pattern of shadows. The road as well. This could be a little bit more solid on the left-hand side, less of the light stuff, because there's more of a, this would be more in the shade on the left-hand side. Great figure. Well done, Sandy. And Saro. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I would say with the road, Saro, try and not have it sort of symmet too symmetrical right in the middle of the road. But everything else is is fantastic. Again, another superb background. Let's just zoom into that background. The way you've done that tree, these buildings, they're merging with the hedgerow. We've got a few little a few little lighter areas there, then, then a darker bit, light, dark, sort of lost and found. Very nice edge the top of that hedge and the shadow at the bottom of the hedge connecting connecting there with the with the bushes on the left that that darkness is fantastic on that left hand side and then the pattern of uh, the the tree coming out from that nice one well done with the figure as well just the right job with the shadows you've got those you've got that fan coming out well done should oh this isn't this is one's got more energy as well now i like uh, this almost looks like a little sort of an island here and we've got quite a bigger bigger puddle that puddle's fantastic and that tree trunk going that way and a balance with that tree trunk going that way very very good and not sure if i quite like the um these kind of brush marks here uh, they they would actually they would actually work more for those tire tracks in the road. Do you remember with the, in the in the source photo there was sort of tire marks like a Land Rover or something had gone over, gone over, gone through the mud. So that would work better going that way across the road. But this is very nice, fresh, bright. But I do like that in the background, that sort of island, and then the sort of light blue in the background. It sort of makes you think, what's what's actually there? Is it like a mist? Is it a building? Is it more foliage? Well done. Uh, Tim, not me, another Tim, Tim, Tim C. Yeah, excellent. Again, the road is almost in the middle, so just consider moving it a bit more to the left or the right, but very nice. I like that lightness, that green there, it's superb. A range of different uh, shadow shapes and edges. We've got the, I think the value of the shadows are just right. That tree is superb. Another excellent background. Two great figures, well done. And a little bit of the reflection there. Maybe we don't have the, oh yeah, we got that puddle on the left-hand side. Well, that's, a, that's another nice puddle. Just a bit of attention to detail, that lightness there with the hard edges around it. And dry brush marks up the middle of the road. Yeah, well done. And Tony. And we just get to the right level of uh, zoom. Oh, another soft one. Excellent. Perhaps the figure could have a bit more of a shadow. Shadows could be a bit stronger coming across the road, but good composition. The greens are excellent. I really like those greens on that left-hand side, Tony. Very, very good indeed. Uh, the the grass verge on the right-hand side could be a little bit more vibrant, a bit more, a bit stronger. It could be a little bit stronger, more yellow in there, more blue. All right, rather than that sort of weaker green.
green. That 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 green would be all right for the the background hedge. Uh, and also with the figure, the hedge is is kind of terminating right behind the figure. So just think. And I'm not sure if I did this on mine now, but try and have maybe the hedge stopping there all right or the hedge goes right over a little bit more uh, so it's not sort of <laughs> connecting at the same point i always think it looks a, a, just a tiny bit awkward but a really nice thing you've certainly got the feeling of winter there beautiful sky excellent well done tony and victor very strong shadows coming out from that uh, coming out from the bushes great figure as well a little bit of overworking of those bushes i think just a tiny bit on that right and left but that those shadows are fantastic very vibrant the dry brush marks coming across the road the feeling of those puddles as well the reflection yeah well done victor thank you and Vicente. Lovely brush marks coming across the road. Perhaps the, it's a bit too light um, in that area there, Vicente. The, the light, I think the light would be better on that left-hand side. So you've got the feeling, because the, because the sun's over to the left, having it over there rather than at that lighter patch there. But good job on the figure. Beautiful colours that you've got into this scene as well. The yellows, the blues, the, the browns as well going across the road. Nice edges to your brush, your brush marks. Perhaps that edge of the road, just a little bit too perfect. Could do with um, roughing it up a little bit, making it less perfect. But a lovely scene, nice and fresh. And William, I think this is the last one. William, oh, what beautiful colours, yellows, browns. Certainly the feeling of brightness as well. Great job on that figure. Just resting on the, just stopping it for a little little bit on the, on the curv curvature of the road. Yeah, very nice. I like the style. Well done. Excellent. Well done, William. So uh, that's the last one of the submissions i had for the january winter walk a winter country lane hope you enjoyed that uh those of you that um have uh, maybe didn't take part i hope you enjoyed it seeing all the different styles as well different interpretations of the same scene it's always interesting having one scene and looking at everyone's different viewpoint on that and the different styles and compositions and you know placement of the figures as well really interesting so hopefully i will catch up with you all on the next workshop just go up to my crowdcast system that i showed to you very briefly really easy to use doesn't doesn't require you to download any software like zoom it's all in your browser or you can use it on your phone or your mobile device really really simple nice and secure and very interactive session with me hopefully catch you on the next session so go up to my crowdcast event channel or um area site uh, which is crowdcast.io slash at like the email at tim wilmot t-i-m-w-i-l-m-o-t and you'll see all of my up and coming events and you can still take part in previous events as well uh, and if you do have a go send me a photo our full instructions will be given to you send me a photo and uh, for a little video critique just for you thanks for watching catch up with you on the next critique uh, of course well the next the next video after this in in chronological sequence might be my, one of my normal tutorials catch up with you on one of those as well thanks very much bye bye